morning everyone, and welcome to this week's Spotlight on Learning Assembly. I hope you've had a fantastic week of learning. Today's Spotlight is hosted by myself, Amani, and also Omar. Now is my favorite time of the week when we take a peek at the learning that has happened across the school. Billy was standing 
a workshop, a clock shop, all around my head, skilled clock makers crouched and squinted on her cluttered table, building exquisite timepieces. There were walls filled with boxes of copper cards, pointing hands, and coiled springs. There were pendulums waiting to swing and keys waiting to twist and turn. Every year, we have a yearbook to celebrate a year of learning, events, and growing up. The yearbook is a great way to keep our memories safe, friends, teachers, and great learning. Last year, the yearbook used this theme based on a design by Jeannie, who is now in year 6. Today, we are launching a competition to find this year's theme. A theme is an idea or image that links the ideas and pages in a book. Last year's theme included butterflies. Your challenge is to create a theme, small shapes with an idea that links them. You can design your theme on paper or electronically, but we don't want any butterflies this year. After we picked a winning theme, we will have more competitions to design a cover, a contents page, and a back cover. You have until Tuesday the 14th of December to send your theme design to your class teacher or to Mr. Tom. Good luck! Hi everybody and I'm just here to give you an update on how Lucas and Oscar have been doing raising money for their premature baby fund. Now you may have noticed them running around the field on most days that last week and this week and they've even got some of their friends to join in. Now how kind is that of their friends? Let's have a look and see how they've been getting on. Oscar and Lucas can you tell us about the progress you've got with your fundraiser so far? Well, we have absolutely smashed our goal. We've raised 300 plus pounds and our run number status is 17 miles. What a fantastic achievement, boys. And just like our turtle, you've been super resilient and kind like our proboscis monkey. And I know that you had some help from your friends. And uh, thank you for these special people for contributing. Well, there you have it everybody. An example of Nexus learners really making a difference. Fantastic to see that. If you've been involved in spreading kindness, we'd love to hear about it as well. And if you have, let me know. Now it's time to say happy birthday to all of those celebrating this week. Happy birthday to Isla in Earl Years 2, Who's Not in Year 3, Isa and Amelia in Year 5. Happy birthday to you all. Thanks so much for sharing your learning this week. Remember to keep trying your best and being rigorous in all areas of learning. Now let's go over to Miss Claire for her final message. Hello everyone and I hope you've had a wonderful week of learning this week. A huge thank you to Amani and Amar, our wonderful presenters from Year 6 this week. I've just got a quick reminder to give to you all. Um, first of all, before I give the reminder, I would like to say a huge well done. You have been working so hard with your various assessments that you've been working on this week and I know you've been trying your best. These assessments are just one little picture of, of how you are doing so that the teachers can work out how to help you, what areas do, do you need a bit more help in. So it really, really helps us to work out what we're doing. So it's nothing to worry about, but the teachers are so pleased with you all for really working hard and doing your best. Well done. Okay, and the reminder that I was going to give you was 
after you've been out to play when you come into the cafeteria please do walk if you run in in all directions you might bump into someone who's carrying food you could fall you could hurt yourself it's not very safe okay so we need to think about how we move really sensibly around the school we walk calmly and sensibly into the cafeteria and we sit down okay thank you very much for that okay so that's enough from me thank you to all of the teachers for their hard work this week and i hope you have a wonderful device free weekend see you next week